At 6 today, 21-year-old Jacob Lanier faced a judge. He is one of two people arrested after a hail of bullets were fired into a Charlotte home. And of those bullets that we're talking about, those bullets hitting and killing a child as he slept in his bed. Well, this happened at a home on Richard Roselle Drive last week. Officials say the suspects fired nearly 150 rounds. Well, now the mother of the man accused of pulling the trigger says the truth will come out. Fox 46 is Morgan Francis live in Uptown. And Morgan, what happened at today's first appearance in court? Yeah, Brian Alicia, it was an emotional first appearance. The mom and sister of this suspect were in the court this morning, and the mom told us that she was heartbroken to see that a three year old was shot and killed, and then she found out that her own son was the primary suspect. I was devastated when I heard that, and I didn't even know what was going on at the time. And I am grateful, I, I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize to the family. I apologize, my son cried. He apologized because he didn't do it. That's not him at all. I promise you, that's not him. The mother of 21 year old Jacob Lanier visibly shaken over a nightmare that's now become her reality. One of her five children is accused of killing a three year old. Very sweet. He's a sweet young man. He's not a monster. He would have never done this. I know he didn't do this. Video from that night shows suspects unloading 150 rounds into the house Asaya Figaro was in. Today in court, attorneys told the judge some of those bullets were directly linked to a weapon they believe Lanier was using. They say it's that weapon that shot and killed Asaya. Did you recognize any of the other boys in the video or men? No comment. The video? No comment. I don't know. Thank you for seeing I haven't watched it. Last week, police pressured parents of students at Hopewell, North Mecklenburg, and Chambers High Schools to ask their kids where they were the night the shooting happened. I've been doing that. I'm, I keep close knits on my kids. Lanier's mom maintains her son is innocent. I'm, I'm, I'm just shocked. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. But I know he didn't do this. He didn't. Police said the shooting and multiple others that have taken place have been the result of teenage dispute games that have turned into deadly games. But the two men they've charged in connection to this crime are 21 years old. Today, CMPD clarified they believe the case is related to activities at local high schools, but didn't elaborate on the age of those they believe are involved. Back in court, the judge ruled Lanier will stay in jail without bond. As he left, he and his mom exchanged a tearful goodbye. Lanier requested a court appointed attorney. His mom says that he was studying sports management at Benedict College, but hasn't been back since the pandemic began. Reporting live in Uptown, I'm Morgan Francis, Fox 46.